let us quickly apply transparent textures to the window uh, so we can see through and where we know where the windows are. So, go to window, we need the hypershade window up. Rendering editors, hypershade. I'm going to put that on my shelf. I'll also put a hypergraph window on my shelf. A hypergraph window is where all your geometry and everything else is and you are able to find everything in one scene. And let's pop up the hypershade window. Oh, it pops up huge. Scale it down. Okay, what we want in here is we want to create a, a blend, a blend shader. And if you double click on the blend shader, this window pops up. And then here we are able to uh, set a color, transparency. So all we want to do right now is just set a transparency and apply it to our windows. So I'm going to turn this down. Maybe reflectivity a bit down. And I'm just going to go back to my hypershade window. Middle mouse click. Drag over our windows. So you want to do that for every one of the windows. Actually, if you select all the windows... go back and you right click assign material to selection and that applies it to all the windows so now we have windows with transparency on them I'm going to show you this really cool trick to create the window pane borders that I learned from digital tutors so let's begin you want to create a pipe and uh, this is a really cool way to create um, instead of creating a, poly, uh, a cube and then carving things out or extruding so you have a hole we're gonna use a pipe to create a square now you might ask this is just w why would we even choose that now if you go select the pipe and you click on the input node we have our way we can control many ways of how this is gonna look the key to this is the subdivision axis. We want to make this to 4. Now we have a perfect square that we're going to use for our outside border uh, windows. Now, right now it's at 45 degrees angle. So what we want to do is rotate it along Y at 45 degrees. And now it's now it's what we want it. Now uh, we, it, we're going to have a hard time trying to rotate it so you want to freeze transformations on this. So select this, you go to modify and freeze transformation. Now if you press rotate it's centered how we want it. Now let's bring this guy close and we want to rotate it all on Z. 90 degrees. Now let's put it up next to our window. Let's go to our front view. And what we want to do is we want to select the vertices and drag it over over our window. And drag it all the way up. Now it's a bit too thin for our taste. So we're gonna scale the inner vertices a little bit more in. Actually, let me uh let me scale the the outer vertices a bit. And let me center this a little bit more close to where I need it to go. Yeah, right here. Want to raise this up a bit because this part right here is going to be our uh, AC heater unit that we see uh, right over here. And also, um, one thing about the window borders that I'm creating is I don't have good enough reference to actually see what they actually look like. So I'm going to do my best and 
just create something interesting in shape and I do have a reference book that I'm looking at and I'll, I'll give you a link to it it's called historic architectural Pl plans details and elements and it's a great reference book so let's let's go back and make this a little bit thicker So let's select our inside vertices and pull them in. A little bit more, that's good. Let's just pull this guy down a little bit more and let's scale it out just a tiny bit and raise it up. and now we have our border and I have my little reference here so I'm, I'm always constantly referencing back and I think it's too much out so I'm gonna push this guy in and scale it in a bit more and it looks pretty good so now I'm just gonna create a little bit more detail to this guy so I'm gonna select it actually name it window border And I'm going to use the insert edge to give a little bit more detail. So I'm going to select and give two edge loops inside because I'm going to, I want to take this, these four faces that are inside and extrude them out a bit. So first I'm going to pull them out just a little bit to create a little bit interesting shape like a little angle and then I want to take these and extrude them not too much so let's see what this looks like with our character in here that looks pretty good I like it now what I'm gonna do is I also another little tip that we're going to do is we're going to bevel our edges and what beveling our edges does it creates a little extra geometry that makes it look not so perfect uh, the reason that a lot of things look CG is because they have hard edge corners and it's just they're too perfect if you look at anything any furniture that you have there's a tiny little bevel on, on everything no there's no sharp edges like you see in 3D so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some a little tiny bevel on top of our um, edges so we don't have those nasty straight uh, CG corners so we're gonna apply it to this uh, a little uh, extruded faces that we have so select your uh, right click go to edge select it and then click left to select the edge loop around it and I already I, I went ahead and placed our bevel tool so I'm gonna click on bevel and initially it comes in huge so what you wanna do is after you apply it you click on the input node and it gives you the offset and all the attributes here so you wanna focus on the offset you don't, don't worry about anything else right now so I'm gonna turn this guy down to about point one I don't know if you can see it but it see how it creates a very tiny little slant and we want to do the same thing to this guy and I press G and applies it at huge point oh one and it creates tiny little slant I think for this one I might want to use 3, no, 3 is too much 2 okay so we have our window border now what you want to do is you want to duplicate this guy you want to delete history first and then you want to duplicate it for each one of these windows so go ahead and do that and we'll pick up in the next video